Hobart's rental crisis is showing no signs of easing, according to a local real estate agent. He says up to 100 people apply for each rental property, an issue needing urgent attention. He has a home now, but for months Abdi was searching for a place big enough to call his own. It was very struggling and very stressful for us. His wife heavily pregnant, Abdi says he kept being rejected from properties and it took a huge toll. I just applied every single place when I see the uh, rental, but everywhere I just rejected and I don't know why I rejected. And it took me around like six months to find one. This real estate agent says his story's not unusual and the situation's still at crisis point. We had over 100 applications on our last property, um, which is a bit of a concern because we feel for the tenant. While the government says Tasmanian building approvals are leading the nation, Connor is calling for local councils to play their part and for development applications to be fast-tracked. There's developers out there that have got some really exciting projects and we just need to make sure we really support them uh, and that way it will ease, ease the burden. That burden felt by many, with on average 80% of properties changing hands in January and December. We know that there are hundreds if not thousands of people currently looking for rental properties and in many cases they've been rejected or turned away. The head of the university union is also struggling to find a place to call home for this semester. She visited an open home today, but was told families will be prioritised over students. Yeah, I was looking for myself and there were probably about 30 people there. So there's obviously high demand on the market. We really do need some more, more housing to come through. Um, otherwise, we really don't see any, any end to it in the near, near future. The government's 10-year affordable housing strategy aims to build more houses and assist more people in finding rentals. But for now, the search continues. Louise Hedger, 7 Tasmania News.